How's it going guys? Now I'm sure you're aware by now that the Suggestions Hub is the number one place that the Forza developers go to to find out what they want to do and add to the game based on what we suggest. From new cars to new features, it's all there, all voted for by us and what they do is they take a look at the top voted things and obviously work on them to be added to the game. Now all about Forza Motorsport here today, we're going to go and take a look at what the top 15 top voted features are. What can we expect? expect to be the most likely feature additions to Forza Motorsport based on the top voted list that we're going to see here that no doubt they are more than likely looking into. We're going to start off in 15th place with only 161 votes by the way just goes to show how little people are using the suggestions hub but all class hoppers in featured multiplayer should be available permanently. He says here that players should be able to race in any car class at any time in open series. He says it becomes a bit repetitive to race the same cars for a whole week and having to wait those days until a new category becomes available. He's just asking for more freedom and I completely agree. I think motorsport used to give you a lot of freedom back in the day to do whatever you want whenever you want. They kind of swayed away a little bit from that and I guess the community that likes that are making their voice heard. What do you guys think? Should they give us the ability to race in any car, any class at any time, an open series? It's 15th on the list. 14th on the list, remove FOMO features and keep added tours. FOMO means fear of missing out. What they're essentially saying here is stop removing the featured tours and open tours that they add to the game for the updates once they end. I think he brings up a very good point. They're putting time into giving these these custom featured tours, these new races, stuff like that, and then they're just removing them once that they end. Why not just keep them in the game so that players can just replay them or mix it up a bit if they fancy something different? Why not keep them in the game? That's essentially what they're saying here. It's very relatable to the previous one, to be honest. Keep stuff in the game that they keep removing. It's got 166 votes. We're gonna have to quickly break away before the next one to showcase the sponsor of this video. Buckle up and prepare to dive into the adrenaline fueled world of Race Max Pro. If you're a follower of the channel for a while now, then I'm sure you're also a fellow car enthusiast. We're all thrill seekers. Race Max Pro can provide all of that from just your back pocket. Here's what the game has to offer it uses real world licensed models, all of which I'm sure we're familiar with. The game isn't just about racing, there are a wide variety of game modes such as street races if you want something simple, drift challenges if you like to kick the back end out, or drag races if you're into straight line speed like me. Or you can mix things up with skill game modes, it's not just about reaching the finish line, it's about showcasing your skill against various skill based challenges. You can prove you're the ultimate racer by bringing up the heat with some multiplayer action challenge your friends or even a random worldwide player. There's plenty of customization to offer as well which we all like including quite a good decal editor to make your cars unique. It's a really good editor especially for mobile games. Just one of many good features. You can download Race Max Pro using the link in the description or by scanning the QR code on the screen right now. Buckle up. 13th place we've got the Builders Cup race length options for more laps basically asking for the ability to change the amount of laps that you do in a builders cup race again asking for a bit more flexibility a bit more freedom that seems to be what a lot of these top voted features are about just a bit more freedom to do what you want when you want this is obviously about the builders cup it was a thing back in forza motorsport 7 but they removed it coming to forza motorsport there should be more features for a, a new game not less next up with 171 votes qualifying for all single player events and races either add qualifying for all events or at least the option gave you the ability to opt in or opt out of qualifying it does make sense for a full motorsport race weekend you've got practice qualifying and the race it's part of a good racer not only having the ability to churn out some good race pace laps but also being able to do the fastest lap possible across a single qualifying lap it's another skill entirely why don't we have that in a motorsport game like this this is 12th on the list it'd be fantastic to have a qualifying option in Forza Motorsport now the next one is also qualifying but in private multiplayer along with practice this is 11th place the same opinion as a previous one really people are saying that a motorsport title should have a qualifying option if that's single player or multiplayer or just one of them come on got to add qualifying it's obviously on the voted list for a reason the ability to choose the ai opponent's cars again falls back on what i previously said just a bit more freedom and everyone wants to play serious races against serious ai opponents 
Maybe they want to mix it up a bit, give the AI opponent cars that are a bit funny. You know what I mean? Custom games, custom matches, just the ability to change things that you wouldn't really usually change. Why not? It doesn't hurt to have features like this in the game. Number nine. Now this one makes me laugh because it's 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 been on our horizon list for years now. Stickers on windows and wheels. Window stickers has been a thing that people have wanted for years over on the horizon world. We've not got it even over on Forza Horizon. Now something like window stickers, I don't think people understand is quite difficult to add to the game. Just like the brake caliper painting that took years to come to horizon. I agree with it being a good idea to add to the game but I don't think we're gonna see this until at least, at least in Horizon so Horizon 6 and onwards eighth on the list searchable lobbies hosted in private multiplayer now what he's saying here is custom lobbies that you make with your friends that are a little bit different maybe you're all racing in vans or something just as an example a custom lobby why not have them searchable why not have the ability to search for custom lobbies custom drift events who knows? Again, just a bit more freedom we're asking for here. With this being the eighth voted feature, I'd like to think that they're looking into doing such a thing, along with everything else we've spoken about. Seventh on the list, race engineer that feeds you audio info about track activity. Very similar to Assetto Corsa Competizion, a race engineer that feeds you information about potential upcoming weather changes, tyre change suggestions, tyre gap, uh, time gap to the car ahead, lap times, the fastest current lap time by what driver. It's the seventh most voted feature. Hopefully we get a motorsport race engineer added to the game. That I think like something like that is a big feature. There's a lot of work in something like that, but it's highly voted, so there's no excuse not to be working on it. Six on the list, increase penalties for dangerous drivers. Now, I think this is slightly related to foot to race regulations. If you remember a few months ago, Forza Motorsport noted three things about the game that they want to focus on changing. Car upgrade system, Forza Race regulations and AI. Now we got the upgrade system. They are making changes to the Forza Race regulations and potentially within this they will be giving more harsh penalties for dangerous drivers. Dangerous drivers nobody likes in Forza Motorsport. They definitely should be punished. They should be given penalties to deter them from doing it. There's definitely a lot of people wanting increased penalties for people like that. Hopefully it's within the foot race regulations changes that they are planning. We're into the top five now. Fifth on the list, race flags. Visual info about track activity. Now, as you'd expect about flags for anything, yellow flags, blue flags, red flags, black flags, just adds a bit more genuine, genuinity, is that even a word? Now, these flags would have to be done by AI. Someone brought up a good point that it might be a bit problematic if AI do the flags, but a race host or any race stewards for any serious races, the ability to have flags and kick drivers would be a great addition. It is in the top five. Fourth on the list, multiplayer driver tars in private multiplayer. Again, people ask me for a bit more freedom. Over on private multiplayer, you're stuck with your mates. There is no AI. They're asking to the ability to add driver tars to multiplayer or private multiplayer matches. I don't see why they're not going to work on something like this. It's such a big freedom based feature, it seems. Private multiplayer should absolutely have AI. It's fourth on the list into the top three now. Wheel spacers, a very simple uh, feature there. It's just a bit of customization. The ability to have wheel spacers, to have good fitment on your on your cars. Some would argue that motorsport isn't always about customization, but nevertheless, it's the top three most voted feature. So does, does it really need an excuse to be on there? Speaking of customization, the second on the list is also related to that new Forza Aero. Now, this one confuses me as a lot of people talk a lot of a lot of rubbish on Forza Aero. We want more custom stuff rather than just generic Forza Aero. I think it's more the fact that we've had the same Forza Aero for a, for many motorsport games now. Give us something new, mix it up a bit. Give us different Forza Aero. We're not asking for the game to be dominated by Forza-based Aero, but just mix it up a bit. Give us something different. That's second on the list with 417 votes. Now, the first thing on the list, the highest voted feature for Forza Motorsport is 
a proximity radar. Now in the most recent update, they did change up the proximity arrows a little bit. It's not quite a proximity radar. I think Gran Turismo 7 does this quite well with their proximity radar. It's really good, it works perfectly. I think this is probably what people are asking for in Forza Motorsport, something more along them lines. It is literally the top voted feature for the game full stop. So I don't see why they won't be working on something like this unless the entire community becomes happy with the proximity arrow changes that they brought forward in update 7. Proximity radar is nevertheless the top voted feature with 535 votes. Now again it just goes to show how little people are actually using the suggestions hub when the top voted feature has only 535 votes. So please make sure to get yourself over onto the suggestions hub as it is very important that's pretty much it guys let me know what you think in the comment section below which features do you actually think don't belong on the top voted list and do you agree with any of them i'd be intrigued to know no doubt in my mind that turn 10 will be working on these features not necessarily all of them but the ones that they are able to do because that is what the list is for so leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all later